I just want to say a couple of words about the specific issue that's drawn us here this evening. The savage collective punishment imposed upon the people of Gaza is of course creating many, many thousands of victims. We believe over 10,000 and I'm sure you've been following the news and seen that almost half of those are children. And you may have heard or seen today's news about the disastrous situation in the hospitals of Gaza. Today in particular, the Ashifa Hospital. You might have heard the broadcast on Radio 4 this morning from their correspondent who said, I was born in this hospital. My mother died in this hospital. It's our community hospital and it's lost to us. But lost to us, he said, with thousands of people marooned inside. And those attempting to leave very often being gunned down. And I thought about the hospital and what hospitals mean to us. Most of us are born in hospitals. We have lifetime experiences in hospitals and many of us pass away in hospitals. And I was thinking, what would it be like for us in South Dorset if our acute hospital, DCH, was closed, shut down? We had no access to it. And indeed, the closer you got to it, the more your life would be at risk. I think it's a serious thought for all of us. And at the centre of the current crisis are not merely the children in Gaza and Ashifa, but the most helpless and vulnerable of all. And you, as you will have seen, the 30 newborn infants requiring life support. And if they don't get that life support and are not transferred safely, they may not be with us much longer. So it's very much in their name that we gather this evening.